Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Baji here. Whether you are new to the channel or you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. During the early stages of my career, I struggled to find comprehensive information on the essential skills required for a performance tester. Like many others, I mistakenly believed that mastering a load testing tool was sufficient for performance testing. However, as years passed, I gained a deep understanding of knowledge necessary to excel in this field. Based on my knowledge and experience, I have compiled a comprehensive list of skills that are crucial for aspiring performance testers before they start their career. In this video, I am excited to share this valuable information with you. I encourage you to share your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Without any delay, let's dive right in. In this roadmap, I have classified the skills into two categories, must-have skills and good-to-have skills. Must-have skills are the foundational skills that every performance tester should learn before they start their performance testing journey. They help them to gain the core knowledge required for success in this field. On the other hand, good-to-have skills are the additional skills which can be an added advantage to their role. In this video, I will be focusing on the essential must-have skills and in the upcoming video we will share the good-to-have skills. Let's begin by exploring the must-have skills in a chronological manner. Now let's dive into the first skill on our list, software testing. Before starting your career in the performance testing, it is crucial to learn the fundamental concept of software testing. Skills that you should master are like, what is testing? Understand the concept of testing, how it is being conducted in an IT organization. What are all the different factors the team consider before start the testing? In addition to this, we should also understand the different types of testing. For example, we have functional testing and non-functional testing. You should understand why they are important and what are all the benefits the team will achieve by conducting these testings. The main objective of the functional testing is to validate the actual functionality of the product. The product should work as per the expectations. A functional testing can be performed either manually or through using some automation tools like Selenium, Cucumber, Microfocus UFT. Any type of testing other than functional is considered as non-functional testing. Some of the non-functional testings are performance testing, failover, compatibility, penetration and compliance testing. In many organizations, it is common to hear performance testing being categorized as a form of non-functional testing. However, from a technical standpoint, it is important to note that performance testing is a specific type of non-functional testing. By mastering these fundamental concepts and skills, you will establish a strong foundation for a successful career. Moving to our next one from the list, SDLC. SDLC is nothing but Software Development Lifecycle. It is an effective process used to design and build a high quality software. The main goal is to minimize any risks through a proactive planning. This ensures that the product not only meets the customer expectation during its production, but also continues to do in the long run. To gain a comprehensive knowledge of SDLC, it is important to familiarize yourself with different methodologies followed by project teams in various organizations. For instance, we have Waterfall, Agile, ATI2 and Spiral methodologies. Among those, Waterfall and Agile are commonly adapted. You should understand the differences between Waterfall and Agile and their respective pros and cons. Additionally, you should have good understanding of different terminology used among these methodologies. You should also understand the different phases in each methodologies. You should be familiar with the application development and deployment process in these methodologies. Since the performance testing is also part of these methodologies, it is important to have a high level understanding of the overall workflow. We should also explore the best approach for aligning the performance testing within the SDLC. This knowledge helps you effectively integrate the performance testing in these methodologies to ensure optimal performance of the product. Now let's dive into the third skill on our list, Server Architecture Basics. It is very important that you should have some basic understanding of the application or server architecture where the application is getting deployed. Without understanding the basics, it will be challenging to troubleshoot any performance issues in the environment. You should gain some knowledge about the server and different types of servers that are available in the architecture. For example, we generally will have web server, application server and database server. You should know what is the role of web server. What are all the different capabilities of the web server. In addition to that, you should aware the purpose of application and database server. Understand the purpose of these servers will definitely help you to isolate the performance problems. Next, you should also understand different types of architecture. 
For example, we have two tier architecture, three tier architecture and n tier architecture. What are all the differences between these architectures? What different layers and components will be part of these architectures? You should also understand the purpose of load balancing. What are all the different load balancing algorithms at a high level like static and dynamic load balancing? For example, least connection, resource based and round robin, etc. You should also be familiar with the softwares and versions that are installed in the servers. Having a high level understanding of server architecture will greatly assist in performance analysis. Moving on to the next crucial item on our list, performance testing concepts. This is an important concept that every performance tester should master it. Without solid understanding of the core concepts, the performance testing results might not be reliable. You should have a clear understanding what exactly the performance testing is and its purpose. You should also have thorough knowledge of different types of performance tests. For example, peak load test, endurance or soak test, stress test, spike and volume test. These are not only the tests we should focus. Based on the requirements, we should plan the required performance testing. You should be comfortable with the terminology used in the performance testing. For instance, you should know what is an iteration means. What is a pacing? What is a think time? Why we are using think time in the scripts? What is a virtual user? It is important to have a good understanding of different types of performance testing requirements. You should also have a clarity on the different roles and responsibilities of a performance tester. This is because you should be aware of the expectations of application teams from the performance testing standpoint. It is necessary to master the different phases that are involved in performance testing life cycle. You should also aware the entry and exit criteria of each phase in the performance testing life cycle. You should be familiar with the deliverables of each phase. Without better understanding performance testing concepts, the results obtained from the test executions may not be meaningful. Now let's discuss about the next item on our list, performance testing tools. It is a misconception among performance testers that mastering load testing tool is sufficient to start performance testing career. Mastering tool is an essential skill that every performance tester possesses. However, I don't think it is not the sole focus of performance testing. It is important every performance tester should strong in one of the commercial tool like load runner or open source tool like Apache JMeter. These days clients are showing more interest towards open source tools due to the capabilities that these tools are bringing in with less budget. For any performance testing tool, you should understand the different components. If you take load runner as an example, we have VUGen also called as virtual user generator for scripting, controller for execution and analysis for analyzing the test results. You should be familiar with the different protocol that tool offers and comfortable doing scripting with those protocols. You should also understand the process of recording a business transaction and also familiar with the different recording options that tool offers. You should have a solid knowledge of different types of runtime settings. You should have a solid understanding of debugging option the tool provides in order to debug the script. You should also master some of the key concepts like correlation, parameterization, response validation and error handling. You should know how to execute a performance test using the tool and analyze the results thereafter. You should also simulate the real user behavior during the load test and scripting will definitely play a key role in that context. By developing these skills related to the performance testing tools you will enhance your scripting capabilities the next one in our list programming languages in this section we will briefly discuss about the programming language concepts that a performance tester should learn it is not necessary that they should master the programming language however they should master the basic core concept of the language this is because during the scripting phase we may need to customize our script the customization will be done based on these programming core concepts If you are using the load runner in the project then learning C language or javascript will be helpful because the scripting will follows these languages syntax to effectively work with scripting it is important to understand the core programming concepts such as different data types offered by the language how to declare initialize and use those variables and knowledge of various operators including arithmetic logical and relational operators You should be familiar with the conditional statements like if else statements. In addition to that, you should also understand the process of using the loops like for loop, to while and while loops, etc. 
You should know the different built-in functions of the programming language and also understand the process of using them in the scripts. You should also familiarize the concept of creating the custom functions. Many performance testers face challenges in the scripting part. Mastering the core concepts of programming will definitely help them to develop the scripts more efficiently. I think having a strong foundation in programming concepts will significantly enhance their scripting capabilities. The next important skill on our list, monitoring tools. In this section, we will discuss the topic of monitoring tools that are essential for any performance tester to become familiar with. In general, it is important to have foundational skills in using the native monitoring tools such as Perfman for Windows and Top, VMstat, SAR for Linux or Unix based platforms. Understanding the different metrics provided by these tools and being able to interpret them and provide meaningful analysis is crucial. In these days, many organizations utilize application performance monitoring tools like Dynatrace, Neuralic, AppDynamics and Datadog in the environments. So it is expected that performance testers having monitoring skills to work with these tools. Even though this application performance monitoring tools skill set is considered to be valuable skill, it is currently included in the must have skill set due to industry requirements. If you know how to use one tool and learning the rest of the tools is easy as they also have similar metrics. Performance monitoring plays a crucial role in performance testing and mastering the relevant tools will enable performance testers to effectively troubleshoot issues and optimize the performance of the application. The final must have skill set on our list, documentation tools. Let's discuss the importance of the documentation skills for a performance tester. Alongside technical expertise, a performance tester should be comfortable using Microsoft Office components like Word, Excel and PowerPoint. It is crucial to understand the process of creating the documents in Microsoft Word. During the performance testing, it is commonly used tool to create performance test plans and reports. So it is essential to understand different options that are available in the Word. And during the execution phase, the interim reports will be prepared using Excel. So you should be comfortable using the Excel to create summary reports. You should also be comfortable using the Excel built-in functions to organize your data. In some situations, we will be presenting the results in PowerPoint. Therefore, you should be familiar preparing the presentations using PowerPoint. In today's landscape, many of the organizations utilize Confluence for documentation purposes. So, it is better to understand how to create and format the documents in Confluence. There may be some situations we might also need to export the documents into PDF format. Documentation is a fundamental skill in the performance testing process. Properly documenting test plans, reports and findings enables effective comparison of results in the future releases. It also facilitates collaboration, knowledge sharing and seamless communication within the project team. Thank you for joining me in this video where I have shared the essential skills for a successful career in performance testing. By learning and practicing these skills, you will become well prepared to succeed in the field of performance testing. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where I will try to discuss good to have skills for performance testers. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Until next time, happy testing.